Yo, what's going on, guys? Um, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Uh, the Apex did just drop another 90% off flash sale, I think, for the next three days. So, cop an account, type in save 90. It's only 13 bucks for a 25k account. Literally, free money. Like, like, so cheap. Okay, and it's good to practice. It's better to practice on a paper account. Um, and then, if you want to join my Discord, watch my live streams. Make sure to join my link in the description below. Literally, I gave someone a free trial, which I do not do. Okay, I I felt I just thought I would do one. Gave someone a free trial. They're in for two days, and they immediately paid the lifetime membership um, after watching my streams. Promise you, it's worth it. Um, but yeah, okay. So let's get into the video. So I posted a video about this on Twitter the other day, but I'm just gonna kind of go over it again. Okay, this is how a candle setup can change a whole setup. Okay, this is how already. So it this is how the market moves okay we move from inefficiency to inefficiency to high to low okay so if I just go into replay mode okay and, and go right here if you notice we have a daily bearish for back up up here and we hit sell side okay so we swept sell side here we have daily bearish for back up so how does a whole candle change my win rate and how good a setup is all right, let's say we got a candle like this, okay? And let's say we re-delivered from it, and this candle right here, let's say this formed a fair value gap. All right, let's say the fair value gap's right here. All right, so let's say we see this scenario, okay? Would this be a good long? No, okay? This is not a good long because one, we just hit the internal high, which is right here. And two, we're delivering from bearish for value gap. Okay, so see how this isn't a really good long, right? If I think we're going to buy side right here after we hit, after we hit sell side down here, if I think we're going to buy side, theoretically, would this be a good long to get us there? No, it would not, because we're re-delivering from a bearish for value gap. Okay, and just because it's a bullish for value gap here does not mean it's going to work, because we're delivering from a bearish for value gap. But what if we change a candle and it's like this? And we form a fair value gap. What if it's like this? Then would I take it? Absolutely. So see how this candle, whether like this could literally be a few ticks off. See how this is like see how if a candle's like this, it's gonna make the setup better versus if we deliver from here, it makes it ten times worse. A few ticks can change a setup and the ideology oh my god, sorry. The, the kind of idea behind this is um, this, okay? If I think we're going to this high, but we've not hit this internal high yet. If we get a candle like this and it does not deliver from the spirit for value gap, we should at least deliver to this line right here. So even if I'm wrong about hitting this line, we'll still be able to get some profit or we'll be able to move our stop to break even because once we hit this internal high or this spirit for value gap, we move us out to break even. So if I really think price is going down there, I do not want to see us deliver from here because it would be a horrible setup. I want to see us get a fair value gap because at least I know we're going to go up here. So at least I can take some profits and then I just hold the rest other half until here and it's a free trade automatically. Okay, but if the candle goes up here, this is not guaranteed to go back to this high. Okay, versus if we did not hit here, okay, there's a good chance to go back to this high. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense a little bit. Um, again, uh, literally the candle changes everything, okay? But let's say this was the fair value gap right here. Let's say this was just the fair value gap. If we did this but did not deliver from the fair value gap and then came down, this is not a terrible setup right here, but the problem with this one is we did hit the internal high. It's still not good. In this situation, what i do is I'd probably still look for a long. I'd just go to the lower time frame and look for like a second five-minute setup just to confirm it. Um, but this one right here this is one i don't really have to confirm and I, this is almost this is a very high chance of working without even going to lower time frame okay so this video is just to show you that just the difference in this candle can make a big big difference in how you trade um and, and the setups i like to look for so um hope you guys learned something in this video um let me know if you have any questions um actually before i get off i do want to find there was an nq example the other day it was a very good example we go to the by the way great price action today for anyone who traded um, if we go right here yeah it was right here 
So I was bullish basically because we had equal highs up here. Okay, so if you look very carefully, equal highs. So I was bullish to a buy side. So I saw this, which is a confirmation setup, right? It's also an inverse for a gap. I saw this and I'm like, okay, this should work. Okay, but look at this. So we make the high and then we deliver down to the fair value gap, we hold the fair value gap, and then we hit the high. So look at this. So if I think we're going up here and we see something like this, if I'm taking this fair value gap, okay, I'm making sure that there's not any other obvious high or I'm making sure we're not delivering from any bearish fair value gap. See how we're not delivering from any bearish fair value gap over here? So that is a good sign to say, okay, we're at least gonna go to this high, I'm gonna take some profit and then try to hold the other half till here. So do you see how it, because we're not delivering from a bearish for a value gap or a bearish PD rate, do you see how it makes it a 10 times better setup? Because we're guaranteed a free, a free trade here, okay? At least we can move ourselves out to break even versus if we come up right here and we don't take any profit or we don't move south break even, this could still be losing trade if I'm wrong about this, right? And eventually we still hit it, but you can see at least this mini scalp works and then you would have just gone south to break even the other half. Okay, so it all depends on where to are me from. And again, I love the setups where we just had this because I always target this high and then this high. And I love the setups that are like this because um, we're not delivering from a bearish BD array. So at least you should expect this high to be hit, hit which is still a nice like 20 point scalp. So almost 30 points actually. So yeah, this is just a live example of it. it happened yesterday. Would have saved you from a loss, especially if you if you kind of see how I trade and and you use this model I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. And other than that, peace out.